at you. Oh, you're a born manager. Congratulations. <laughs> Pretty soon, you'll be hiring entertainers to lift the spirits of your guests and hiring security guards to deal with pickpockets and ne'er-do-wells. And, well, partly to stop Lucy constantly cutting in line. You can worry about all of that in your own time, though. Goodness, just look at how you've grown the park. It's like they say about tiny acorns. Don't eat them. No, that's not it. Anyway, just time for a few final management lessons before I let you loose on the world. Now, these first few of the last few lessons will mostly be focusing on finance. Which is why I'll be handling them. You can get started by looking at the overall finances of the park in the finance section of park management. Come on, money's a-wasting. Ah. This is my happy place. Just look at all those fiscals. You can get a very solid idea of how your park's finances are doing here. And looking at it, your rides are doing well. But I think your shops could be doing better. Open up the Attractions and Shops panel. As you can see, this section gives you an overview of how your shops and facilities are doing. Ah, and as I thought, you could definitely stand to raise your food and drinks prices by a half dollar or so. Happy guests don't mind paying a little extra. You can also raise the prices of ATMs, toilets, even the first aid facilities. But it's a good idea not to get too greedy with those. Just greedy enough. The
Yes, that's better. It's hardly a lottery win, but we are seeing a bit more profit, which means... That I get to interrupt you for once. We should put some of that money into researching a roller coaster. After all, guests eventually tire of old rides. So, putting money into ride research is essential if you want to keep a park fresh or expand it. Oh my! Oh yes! You should begin research at once. Now that the research is in hand, we should take a look at the staff again, because their happiness is just as important as the guests' happiness. Go on, take a look at your staff list. Good! See, if a staff member is unhappy, then they won't be as effective at their job. And if they're really unhappy, they might even quit entirely. Anyway, I think it's high time we gave some of our staff a raise, don't you? No. That wasn't directed at you, Cynthia. So, check if any of your staff members aren't as happy as they could be. And, if so, bump their wages up a notch or two. There, that's a start. Now, if a staff member's workload is too high, it means that they aren't able to keep on top of all their duties, which will make them unhappy. One way around that is hiring more staff. But a more efficient way to deal with it is through staff training. So, train up some of your staff. Once you've chosen who to train, they'll soon toddle off to the staff building to receive their training and complimentary donuts. Oh yes, you clearly know how to care for your staff. Now that you've addressed their wages, workloads and training, they'll be showering you with world's best boss mugs in no time. And that means you're ready to learn about... Building roller coasters! Oh my, oh my! They're expensive things, but a theme park isn't a theme park without one. Eugene, take it away! Take what away? Oh, I understand. If you could reveal the newly researched coaster blueprint, please. Well, that was needlessly over the top. Oh, but that is quite an exciting new coaster. 